is over. He's not coming back. on in there. I think so. Whoa! <gasps> hey! Are you okay? What were you doing in there? Huh? Oh, I'm training for worlds. What's worlds? All right. Listen up, and I'll tell you. Uh, you're still on fire. At Worlds, the best League of Legends teams from around the globe come together to fight for the ultimate glory. To become legends and the pride of the country. Every year, millions of people tune in to watch. It's the conclusion to a year of intense competitions between the best League of Legends teams in the world. Oh, and sometimes giant dragons show up too. It's one of the greatest competitive moments in all of sports. So that's Worlds. Don't miss it. Okay, here's the problem. You want to watch Worlds, but you have no idea what this is. Let's start here. Worlds is the League of Legends championship between the best pro teams in the world. These teams face each other during a month-long tournament. The two winners of that tournament go on to the championship. That's the one most people watch. Let's talk about how to watch the game. Teams are made up of five players, each playing a unique champion. 
Matches take place on the game's map. Summoner's Rift. Cool. The Rift is made up of three lanes. Top, Mid, and Bot. With a jungle area in between each. Typically one player will go Top, one Mid, and two Bot. The fifth player roams all over the Rift, jumping in wherever teammates need help. From there, it's pretty simple. The goal as a team is to protect your towers while destroying the enemy's towers. Get to their base, blow it up, and win the game. It's easy. Or is it? Because the game moves so quickly, comebacks can happen at almost any time. If you ever get lost, you can usually tell who's winning based on a few things. First, number of kills. Kills give a lot of gold, which is important because gold lets them buy items to make their champion stronger. More kills means more gold means more items means more kills means more gold means more items. You get the idea. Second, towers destroyed. Towers not only give gold, they also protect each team's base. More towers destroyed means further ahead. But watch out, towers do protect themselves with magic bolts, which can hurt, like, a lot. Lastly, monsters. The rift has a bunch of these, but the most important are the dragons and the baron. He's sort of this really strong, really mean tentacle thing. The Baron requires teamwork to kill it, but in doing so, it rewards with special bonuses. And, you guessed it, even more gold. Yeah. That's kind of a lot. Check out the overall team gold if you're ever lost. Higher gold means stronger champions, which usually means a team is further ahead. So, there you have it. Now hopefully this makes a little more sense. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Just try to have some fun watching your favorite team take over the game. Because at Worlds, taking over is the ultimate goal.